from marching and dancing to a crowd cheering with tenacity, the Sailfish Cup is no ordinary intra-hall competition. Well, we take it very serious. Like, very, like, very serious. Like, I was injured last year. Like, this is a big deal. Now, in its 22nd year, the Cup pits residency halls against each other. Guys versus guys and girls versus girls. But if you ask these contenders, there's one set of students that takes this competition to the next level. I've been in Baxter all three years, and each year we've competed so hard. And the time we put in is like a two to three weeks in advance. So I can say the girls compete very hard. The Cup starts on Thursday, and it runs through the weekend. And everything, from dancing and sports, even video games, it's a fight for points. It's crazy, you have to have enthusiasm to get everybody else enthusiastic, like get them all hyped up, because that's how you're going to win, is get everybody hyped up and getting into the game. And speaking of who's the best, Baxter won last year. And from these dance moves, they may repeat. At least we're holding ourselves to that standard. We are trying to go back to back, um, especially for a lot of girls that are graduating. So we are trying to go back to back and retake the cup. But other teams have their own plan to win it all. We're teaming up yeah. with ODP and Coastal and we're going to kick some butt. Yeah, we're two teams combined and we're very passionate about winning. Reporting for The Beacon, I'm Allie Rose.